I'm Jazz. And I'm Britt. And YCWAO. Let's talk about... Scandal! All right. Off top, let's talk about our girl, Melly. Mm. When Gangsta. They, when they did them flashbacks, you know, I, I feel like the flashbacks should put to rest all of that talk about Melly caused the rape on herself uh-uh. or Melly asked for it. Or what was the other one? She should have. She should have fought more, or she should have screamed, and all this other stuff. Bottom line is, ain't nobody supposed to be getting raped. Exactly. I don't care how nice you are to someone. I don't care if you be like, "Oh, darling, <laughs> how are you? That oh, oh, isn't he grand? I don't care how many times she did that. I don't care if when she grabbed him up, her left boob was touching and sucking all into his arm. I don't care. <laughs> you ain't supposed to be raping nobody. Yeah, it's not How some thing. woman asked for a rape? Unless that's what she into. I was saying, unless there was a previous conversation <laughs> and they was like, okay, so this is what we're going to do. Unless she into that in the bedroom. If all y'all was into that in the bedroom, ain't nothing wrong with it. It's your business. But the thing is, <laughs> that's not what Melly had set up that's with um, Fitz Daddy. The old ass uh, Papa okay. Fitz. Old it, ass. Papa Fitz. If she wanted to have, if she wanted to get um a little bit of rape action, she a little bit of, talk to Fitz if she it. wanted a little bit of bedroom play, if she wanted to, uh, <laughs> She would have said, Fitz, I'm into that. <laughs> Make it happen. And Fitz with his nasty ass probably would have been like, oh, hell yes. And he went in the private cheated been, on her. Been. Okay. Right. <laughs> Melly. Melly. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to follow you around back. <laughs> I'm going to snatch you up. Okay. I mean, the thing is, I don't understand those, those statements that, oh, Melly. Like... She asked for this rape. I think that's the most insane thing that I've ever heard in my life. No woman wants to be raped unless, like we just stated, they enter that sort of thing in the bedroom with the partner of their choice. The person they love. (laughs) Yeah, or the partner they choice, yeah. (laughs) And it would be something that they had discussed with their partner. And their their partner would have said Don't just swing this on me and tell me afterwards. You know? Like, come on now. (laughs) Anyway, but I really think that, that that should put all those things to uh to rest. But Melly needs to leave Fitz, period. She does. Did you hear the homie Andrew? He up here protecting her. He was like, oh, it was my drugs, you know all what I'm saying? Time. I like to turn up, you know what I'm saying? And that was that. And I did, like to turn up. He did that joint so fast. He, it wasn't and even, Melly was sitting there like... Melly looking at him with the, like, dude. <laughs> what are you, what doing? you doing? Yeah, cause cause she. One thing about Melly, you know, it's for her. It's about the career. She's politics. She's yeah. all about politics, and she looking at him like, wait. You about to ruin your career. Cause she was for life. Cause she probably thinking he was just gonna deny it, deny it, and it it would have never tracked back to him. Cause yeah. he could have. Yeah, he could have denied, denied it, it yeah, and it would have never got back to him. Yeah, it would have gotten it. to Melly though. Yeah, they would have figured it out eventually. But of course, that's what he was. Why he was protecting her? Cause he didn't want them to find out that Melly did that, okay? And and the thing is, you know, f- that's why I was so mad with her. You saw when Olivia, when she found, when they found out. And she gonna go to, obviously, she was popping these pills for, for a reason. reason. Something happened, you know stupid ass. And they got, y'all got something in common. Y'all share the same man. So, you know what I'm saying? There should be some type of camaraderie there. <laughs> <laughs> and, and not trying to be funny <laughs> Olivia should feel some type of way She should wonder what would cause this woman Who I see before me who is not a drug so, addict Yeah why, What would cause this strong woman to be popping oxycotton exactly. Like the M&M's Like, it won, like, like the M&M's like According it, like to Olivia said. like she said Like the M&M's What would cause Melly to do that What do we have in common Fitz Did Fitz cause her to do that mm. You would think Because everybody know that Fitz is a headache <laughs> <laughs> He's a headache for everybody like that's what I would think she would have thought, but no, she come in there throwing shade at Melly like you up here popping shit. You was popping and popping my pills like they M and M's. Melly, I th- that's why Melly is bad ass because she handles that joint like it's a so wife. Much class. But like, cause she's a wife. Now don't get me wrong though, there's some wives like out a there. First lady, she does yeah, like a first, first lady. Because there's some wives out there who y'all out there trifling. Y'all know yeah. who y'all. Are. You need to cut that shit out. But anyway, Melly though, she is she is, she has such class about she's a situation. Out of your life. But it's like, you're going to throw all this shade at me after I just said thank you for fixing the situation? Exactly. She actually was nice to her that, that at that moment. And then she closed that door. And, and what Olivia turned around to her, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what happened. How long it's been going on. I don't want to know why you did it. I don't know what was going on. I don't want to know how long you and homeboy has been together. But it needs to end. Melly, and she said, I know. I know what, it, what, you, what, it, what you're going through. I know what it feels like. Trust me, I, I know. know. Trust me, I know. Ah! 
the gall. What we told y'all yeah, last got week. so much balls. But what we man. tell you last week, when you want to find somebody with the most audacity, the biggest balls, and the most gall, go find you a side chick. Yeah. Go find a side hoe. Side chick. Because okay. you a side hoe. Okay. Because they, <laughs> they got the most audacity. They will say whatever. And look at you like, Olivia. And then what did Melly say? She said, oh, you think we got something in common? She thinking they Bobby and Whitney. We got some. Okay. Okay, Bobby. Get out of here. Olivia walk around here. We got some. She's she crazy. She She's is. crazy. She is. Okay. And Melly set her straight. Like a lie. She didn't mm -hmm. even have to throw no shade. She 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 threw her own. She didn't throw shade. She threw the truth at this chick. Dang. The truth shall set you said, free. When I had the opportunity to cheat. I Hello. kept my knees closed. Mm. So me and you. She we're said not we're the nothing same. alike. She we said are the not difference the same. between me and you. Mm. <laughs> Hello. That's what she said. I'm so done with Olivia and her Olivia trifling. Olivia was just being trifling all throughout this episode. But let's be real though. If Olivia couldn't handle being Fitz's wife. No. Okay, because you see how Fitz be treating Melly? Let's not be and this is the problem with side chicks. Bruh, the way well, Fitz but hold up, they always think. That's how he does you. And this is the Just voice. Just because he does you like that. This is the voice of Amina. This is the voice of Amina. If y'all ever, if y'all watch Love and Hip Hop New York last season, this is Amina. I mean, he chose me. She was like, that's how he does he you. Chose me. That's how they feel. He did that with you, but he's not going to do that to they me. They don't think that they're below. They think that they're above you because it's like. Because well, you're getting cheated on. Yeah, you're, he had to, he had to, he had to um come to me because, because you are not you, what he wants. He's with you only because of obligation. Side holes are I'm so who stupid. I he really wants. Side and I'm so who stupid. he needs. That's why he can't stop being with me. And if you a side hoe watching, get educated real quick, okay? Because ain't nothing gonna be different with you when you become his supposed main or his supposed exactly, wife. He was because he's gonna do the same thing to you that he did to the last side hoe. Ugh. Cannot stand a side hoe. Gets me sick. Anyway, but you see how Fitz was talking to Melly. In that daggone office, in that oval office. When Melly was like, when she was like, yeah, so I'm going to take it off you, but I'm going to help you out. And I'm going to talk to Olivia about uh, getting nickels off the, not not taking nickels off the ballot mm -hmm. or whatever. And he was like, you stay away from Olivia. Here we go. What? Here we go, Fitz. So now you chastising your wife? Chastising your wife because. The mistress? Defending because you don't the mistress want her for the wife. To her? He said, Olivia is not your problem to solve. Obviously, like y'all been screwing she, for over but four obviously, years. But, but obviously, obviously Melly did need to fix that problem, and obviously Mel Melly's fix was the right fix because Olivia followed right. them damn instructions and did what the hell she was supposed to do. I'm so tired. Olivia is just like such a sub ass. She I mean, sub, man. yo, it, but the thing is, everybody sub. But that's what I'm trying to say. The way he talked to um to Melly. Melly Olivia couldn't take all that because you saw how in the beginning. She started busting out crying. Exactly. Immediately. And immediately. let's be real. When did y'all hear when Melly was like she tried to off herself? She tried to take herself out of here because of what that fool did to her, and because she's not sure about the parentage of her son, about the um who's the father of her son. Damn. But that's the. I mean, I don't understand if that alone should tell you like all you people who swear oh she asked for it type ish from this old dude this old what alcoholic, she was that old man for that old alcoholic who don't even treat his own son right and, and but see but people say that melly is all about the politics so then why would she even want it why would she even go there exactly she knew her husband was destined for presidency she wouldn't want that fool get out my face that joint is ridiculous but you see how olivia um was ready to cry shed a tear when Fitz was like, shut up. Yeah. In the beginning. That's why I say Olivia can't handle being but that man's just, wife. That little bitch, she was like, oh, oh. she couldn't handle being that man's wife. Because when Fitz oh. come at Melly crazy, Melly be hurt, but she takes that issue with stride. She gets that face again. She be like, okay. When she said, how does it feel? Yeah. How does it feel? What, what is it? She said, how does it feel to be so hot for somebody that you, you know, put uh, everything that you worked for? In jeopardy. And what this nigga says to her. He said, Melly. And then the mad, long, dramatic pause. And the staring, gazing into her eyes like. I don't have I the don't time. Have time. What, boy? It would have been turned up in the White House. I would have turned. The only time Fitz got time for is his Drake ass feelings. Yeah. That's the only thing Fitz got time for. Scotch. Okay, little boy. You ain't got time. But guess what, Fitz? You're going to have all the time in hell. Melly's and that's where I'm about to send you right now. <laughs> like, 
For what? sure. But guess what? <laughs> Melly said, F what you heard. The first lady about to get touched. <laughs> Don't touch the first lady. She, she said, like, mm, 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 mm. touch. <laughs> touch. <laughs> Yo, Melly you getting like touched, y'all. Yeah. And she they left them lights on. Yeah. <laughs> A little Mario for y'all ass. Yo. She she was like, but you saw how shocked she was. She was like, oh shit, I'm getting kissed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she was like, Cause you Andrew, know she ain't been kissed Andrew. in a while. You know, Melly, she ain't been kissed in a while. Yeah. Fitz ain't handling none of that. And he none knows, this is the thing about Fitz. Fitz knows that Melly ain't going to cheat. Yeah. So he don't worry about the fact that he's not handling his husbandly his duties. Business, yeah. But what, what he don't know is homie in the White House touching on his wife. His girl. He and said, Jake touching you. And Jake about to take his girl touching again, you. his other girl. Touching you. Touching you, hey. you can't keep my hands on your body. Yes, that's what's happening, Miss Melly. I told y'all, I can't wait till Fitz find out and what he about to be doing. What he about to be doing? Being crying. caught up in his Drake ass feelings, crying. just like he was doing Yelling. when the show started. And what the hell he crying about in the beginning? He said, "Why won't you let me touch you?" No, you talking about when uh, was, after she was raped? Yeah. yeah, no, I'm talking. No, you talking about when she was um, raped? I'm talking about the beginning, how the episode started. Oh yeah, with him and Olivia, with him and Olivia and arguing. Like, yeah, arguing and, like they a married couple, man. I'm not about to argue with my childhood like that. What no! you know what I'm saying? Like, why are you giving me all Fitz this got the game. Fitz got the game all messed, messed up. up. What part of the game is that? He said, he's talking about, I don't trust Jake. I don't trust and him. And Jake is sitting outside like. Okay. And then, but Olivia's so stupid. When you, when you should have to express to your man. Well, he's not a man. But you know, that you're not a hen. You're not a prize yeah. to be won. Yeah. Get out my face. It's weird. But you out here, you got yourself out here on that thought ish. On that thigh is she that hoe out there? For those of y'all who don't know what a thigh is, she got herself out there in between these two men. And one is a married man. You yeah. looking real stupid in the face. And she finally admitted that she's a whore. Did y'all hear it? When she said, "I'm the one," she said, "I have to do this for me so that I can hold my head up, yeah. so that I just red A on my chest to my invisible red A. It ain't invisible, right? Yeah. Everyone in the White House knows. Even homie Andrew, the dude yeah. who um, his name is Andrew, right? Yeah, Andrew, dude Nick who came in the White House, he see it. He, he just got like, there. He was like, you don't really like Olivia, but Fitz likes Olivia. He and just was like, yo, she gets the job done. But he just got there and he sees. He knows, he sees that red A on her chest. He just got there. And she up here talking about, I'm just trying to do this for, for me because I want to be able to hold my head up. You still a whore and we still see it. And it's not a red A anymore. It's a black W for whore. <laughs> Hoa. W-H-O-R-E. A hoa? That's what Papa Pope said. He said, are you telling me that you a hoa? When he, that when he said to her, you spread your knees, lifted your skirt and spread your knees. That's what he said. But he the crazy thing is that he was actually depicting what he actually saw. Ow! Did y'all see that when Jake got that goddamn USB and he got a visual of the Oval Office? Y'all. Y'all. Y'all know what Tom that means. Tom said nightly. He said every night he's going to bring them drinks. But y'all know what that means. Papa Pope was seeing all that action in the Oval Office. Olivia is a clown. Yeah. Dang. And Papa Pope ain't got no respect for her. That's why he be looking at her like, you are a clown. Joke. But y'all remember, think about this though. Y'all remember seeing that, that whole thing with the over the um the fact that Command gets to see the Oval exactly. Office. Oval, yeah. Do y'all remember when and Fitz, Fitz was like, oh, these just go to the trash. Nobody sees these. With, remember when Fitz was like that, he wanted to get rid of B613 or he or whatever. And Cy was dragged him away from the center of the Oval Office and was like, shh, shh, shh. And he was looking up. He knew. Yeah. Fitz is the one in the dark. Always Fitz talking about, I'm the president. Crying with his Drake ass. But y'all saw when they came out of that room, right? Jake standing there. Jake, <laughs> Jake standing like, there. And Olivia looked like, you know, it was just that awkwardness. awkwardness. But what what she do? She gave uh, Fitz his list of to-dos. Du his duties, yeah. yeah. What he needs to do. Which is, I mean, and ain't nothing wrong with that. Because ain't nothing, I mean, because she got to handle him. You know, it ain't wrong with having, sometimes you got to handle your man later. But she got to handle him all the time. She, But she, exactly. Which leads to mothering. Handling and just giving your man that pat on the back or giving him that shove. Like, go ahead. 
is one thing. But having to control his drinking and control his this and control his that. Don't nobody got time. That's mothering. And don't nobody got time for all of that ish. Grow the F up or go yell at your mother and father for the for job they the job, didn't right. do. Anywho, let's talk about Harrison. You saw how Harrison was smiling at first when he woke up and he got up. He buttoned hey, his baby. shirt. He said, each morning I wake up. Yes. <laughs> before I put on my makeup. But um, I not messed that up. That dude was She's not. She's like, hey, babe. Okay, so I'm going to need you to take this money and drop it off at the drop-off spot. You remember when oh. that, right? <laughs> so, Chico, I said, be ready. And then all, <laughs> all of a sudden, Harrison was like. He was sad all over again. But he made that donation though, right? He did what Adnan said because she was like, oh, does Olivia know about blah, blah, blah? But the thing is, I don't understand why he wouldn't just tell Olivia because it's not like Olivia is going to be like, I ain't effing with you no more. It depends. But I mean, she Quinn, Quinn betrayed her. Yeah. And she still... But what if his money, uh, his money dragging here and there for Adnan has something to do with her... Well, obviously we know that she it has something to do with Mama Pope. Yeah. So why would But he, he has nothing to do with... He don't know about uh, the connection with Adnan and Mama Pope. Maybe he does. I don't think he does. I don't think he knows. I don't think he knows at all. He knows. <coughs> and I know he knows. <laughs> I think he knows. <laughs> Nah, I, I I personally don't think he knows. Y'all tell y'all say what y'all think. Comment below. Let us know if you think that Harrison knows about Adnan and Mama Pope's connection. I really don't think he knows, but I tell you what, he needs to be careful though because he made that donation. What he don't know is that Huck will f him up. He mm -hmm. must have forgot what happened to Quinn because him making that donation, he basically betrayed Olivia. True. He he went and did. You know, he's that's not gladiator activity. True. And if Huck finds out, he's the first one to yell about some gladiator throwing gladiator. But he up but it's because he does. He probably don't see it as a mess. Up, but he played games if he wanted because Huck will take all his damn teeth too. He gonna be <laughs> smiling too much. <laughs> he gonna be like, mm -hmm. <laughs> stop smiling with your mouth closed. Dang. But um, James, and let's talk about pansy ass James. <coughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I don't know what the hell going on. James did it. Publius did it. Publius. <laughs> Publius did it. Hey, you heard Charlie <clears throat> talking about what type of name is Publius? Is that Italian for dweeb? <laughs> he, no, he said Latin for Latin dweeb. For Latin dweeb. for dweeb. Yeah. And Cyrus, but you saw, but see, you skipping ahead. Oh, but when bad. Cyrus said that, y'all saw his eyes? Like he was going into, he was thinking. Because he was yeah. like, because he's like, why didn't we get to do? And what the hell is Publius? Because now he's starting to think. But James is all talk. All he doing is talk, talk, talk. He, I'm going to get Cyrus. I'm going to take down the monster. But what is he doing now, y'all? Crying. Running. Just like I said. Hiding. With his pansy ass. Crying, crying, crying. Cyrus don't need that type of fool anyway. He needs somebody strong. Yeah. And James, first of all, the fact that he needs someone loyal. Because James obviously isn't loyal. But James is now he crying. He needed that on Daniel Douglas. Is his name? What's his name? It was Daniel. That's what they corrected us because we were saying Donald. Thanks for correcting us, y'all. It's Daniel Douglas. But um, shoot, it's the same letters though. Yeah. <laughs> but you see how James is crying and begging David to help him now. Help me! I can't go because then I'll, I'll be found out. And it was like know, they whatever. calling. Oh my God! When did she start? But she makes a story about me. And, and I'm Publius. I'm Blubius. Publius is I. Hey, Publius is me. I'm gonna get caught. But hold up, why are they calling it like Deep Throat? Operation Deep Throat. What? <laughs> and don't you have funny hey, it is? It's Operation Deep Throat and James is movies. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, cause it, I mean, just because he gay don't mean he the only one deep throated, but I mean, cause Melly might be deep throated too. Hey. But anyway, the thing is, why is it Operation Deep Throat? Like, I guess cause they talking too much? Yeah. Or they got information down in the throat. And it's deep in the throat. Like, cause they don't know who it is. So it, the information is uh, I don't know. Yeah, it's a bit much. <laughs> But the thing is, Cyrus knows something up. I think Cyrus knows. He's gonna put two and two together. He's too. about to put two and two together, and it's gonna be su it's gonna suck to be James. But you know what he's gonna do, y'all? He's not gonna be all big talk like he was in David Rosen's office. Cyrus. He's gonna be like, I I know, I, I know, up. I messed up. I I. Oh. But I love you. But you and see, I love our family. But you see how much he does not care about James. I mean, um, Cyrus. Cyrus. He could have went to Cyrus and said, I effed up. When he saw Cyrus was looking for police, he could have been like, you know, I was upset because you didn't give me the information that I wanted, and I found out this, and I found out that, and I went and I did blah, 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 blah. I'm sorry. That's what he could have did. Could have. Okay? But no, he's sitting here busy trying to save himself, trying to save his ass. And putting other people in and, danger. But he's also playing Cyrus. Like, he's like, oh, well, why don't you do this? You know, trying to get him off his track. Or whatever the case may be. So he can't later when he starts talking about how much he loves Cyrus. Because he will. Yes. He and will. he loves their family. 
And my thing is, exactly. His dad gonna purse of a daughter. He is full his of daughter it. daughter that he just got Okay, all she is, is a, she's an accessory, okay? And he playing games. Just like now he's the, he's the press secretary. That's just another accessory as well. Orphan, Crying. Orphan is the new black. We, really, what he yes. wants to shut up. <laughs> and all he wants to do is cry. All he wants to I'm going to get caught. Oh, yeah, probably is shut up. Suck it up. You did it. Now take you better this, deep throat that that ish. That, okay? And take that bullet to the head. Exactly. Deep throat on that bullet. But you saw how um when Jake got all that information, because now he's come in. How overwhelmed he looked. Yeah, he was like, hmm. No, but he looked overwhelmed. He started rubbing his head. Yeah. He's looking all whatever. Like, I can't do this. And y'all. then Olivia started calling him, trying to give him all these little errands to do, talking about my father did this. You need to follow him and all this other stuff. About, I'm not your errand boy. But he no told way. her, I have a job. Finally. Let me stop. <laughs> Cause I, as that Navy command, he wasn't doing nothing, bruh. <laughs> Obviously he had nothing to do with he just got up and started stalking Olivia. He, well, he wasn't doing anything. Fitz told him to. Fitz yeah, but he that. was not busy. <laughs> he wasn't busy. He was out there hoeing. Cause that's what he basically is a hoe. Fitz pimped him out. <laughs> but he done fell in love now with his John. <laughs> yeah. But the thing is, because of Olivia's dumb ass, uh Jake got Charlie tail and Papa Pope. And you saw how Olivia up in there, and she gonna approach Papa Pope with that BS. Talk about and Papa Pope you, kicked her right you, in the face. Right in the face, the throat and both ears. <laughs> <laughs> At the same time. Pop, 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 pop. <laughs> okay? Because what is she talking about? That she just and starts she running her mouth. Try. Are you but, but you saw how he was like, oh, so you don't have no faith in your father. He said, I would have hoped that you would have helped me too. A higher regard. But he was like, does this work? Like, this manipulative way that you, this backdoor tactics that you use, this usually yes, works for you? Whole, but he whole. basically told her, you are whack. That's what he told her. He said, you are whack. You and whatever you doing is, is not going to work for me. It may work for them lame ass niggas out there in them streets. But he said, not. but right here, it's not going to work with Papa Pope. Because no. he said, Papa Pope ain't no joke. What? That chick is playing though. And then she talked about she wanted to see how he was doing. She was worried. She's such a liar. You're not, you did not want to see how he was doing. You were not worried because you sent in the goons after. But how are you going to lie to your father's face like that? The father that you know put his feelings to the side to protect you from knowing the truth. And to about protect your, your feelings. She you is forgot a already. Joke. I don't understand. But I, but what I tell you about Papa Pope, he ain't no joke. He ain't about to he ain't about to fall for her nonsense. He saw straight through her ish automatically. There was no hesitation. He eating his food and he wiped his mouth and just gave her the what? But what was really funny was when she peeped Quinn out. Yeah, that's right. She she walked away because she was mad. And she was like, because she was mad as hell because her father kicked her in the throat. Mm-hmm. Both ears and in her face. Like, Excuse me? That you know that you know that look when you see when you see your dude strolling uh eating ice cream down the street with some other chick? <laughs> <laughs> or if you see oh. or if you see your friend's dude strolling with some chick down the street, you be like <laughs> Time to take a picture. Take a picture with the camp phone. Take a picture for the camp phone. But my thing is Quinn sitting there and if she get in the car, she's saying to Quinn, um you know my father, if he saw you, he would kill you. And Quinn, she all like, he ain't yeah, gonna see. Quinn, Quinn all both. Quinn. Yeah, she, she think that just because she got some teeth pulled out that she's... And she's still here, that she's whatever. Because I ain't gonna lie. I mean, you know, daggone. If Huck would have snatched me up, I might have passed out. The minute I saw him Somebody sitting in my, my chair. Face like I was a piece all Quinn of cared about was the yeah, fact Huck. that he licked, her, he licked yeah. her face. Why the hell didn't she mention the tooth pull? Because she was like, he, he treated me like I wasn't even human. She was like, he licked my face. But, I mean, that kind of was But remember, me. when he scarred. licked her face, her eyes, she had to... That kind of was scarred She me. did look at him like, yo, the F. Because it's like, what, you going to eat me after you kill me? Because she you didn't... answer that? What happened was she didn't hear that song. If she had heard that song beforehand, she would have knew. So. Huck about to echo. <laughs> huck about to echo. <laughs> huck about to get queen with them pliers. Huck about to echo. Huck about echo. You know what I mean? Had she heard that song beforehand... <laughs> She you wouldn't have been it. confused. She'd have been like, all right, he's about to lick my face. He's about to do all this. Because she didn't hear that song previously, that's why she's sitting in that car still shocked. Yeah, she's <laughs> still, still shocked that that man licked her face. She don't even remember that. She got a tooth pulled with no Novocaine. She just thinks about the fact that this I'm man that. licked my face. And she's, she's more upset about the fact that Huck don't want her. Yeah. He don't want her there. He don't see her as even. She was like, when she's... 
But Olivia told her, come back home. She said, hug She said, hug don't me. want me there. I told y'all she don't care nothing about no Olivia. And you, how you know she don't care about Olivia? She, she pulled, pulled the gap out, out on Olivia. Was like, but well, you can't see. She was like. Yeah, but the thing is, Quinn. Get out of my car. Exactly. She was like, yo, Deb. But the thing is, <laughs> the thing is, this is how you know Quinn is type crazy. And she belongs with Huck. Because like I said, she busy talking about Huck don't want me there. Huck licked my face. She forgetting about the pain. If she had remembered everything that took place, if it really did, it, the effect that it should have been. And I know it was painful to get that duct tape off. He duct taped her whole body. If it worked, if it, yeah, he sure did. If, it, <laughs> if, 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 if she was really affected by that, she wouldn't dare pull no gun out on Olivia. Yeah. She already know that what happened to her is because Huck she was forgot. mad because of what she did to Olivia. But she pulled that gun out like it wasn't nothing. But maybe that's why she was trembling after um, yeah, Olivia yeah. got out the car. She was nah, like, oh, she, shit. Because she's not really about that life. Yeah. She's not. She put it down and she was like... <sighs> And she also was like, oh shit, what if Huck finds out? Because you know if Huck finds out, what's going to happen? <laughs> Huck about to act up. He about to act up. Huck about to act up. But this time, he might not get no pliers on Quinn. He might yeah. pull her teeth out with his fingers. That's worse. <laughs> Come on. Shoot, he find out he's going to take all her teeth out. Dang. Child, please. Remember when he said, I've been waiting. Oh, he said, I'm really happy right now. Yo, Huck <laughs> is bonkers. Hey, 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 but you see how he keep giving Liv coffee. First of all, you know he crazy. Because why are you giving me coffee? she said she don't even drink coffee. But the funny thing was her face. Every time he gave her coffee, she was like. She holding the cup. She like. That's what she her? said. She was like. <laughs> She's funny. And when she said Huck, she folded her hands. Huck, I don't drink coffee. I know, but it's a peace offering. Where is that done that? Somebody tell me. I don't know. <laughs> Cause I, I guess in the workplace, maybe. I don't know. I know. I don't think so. No, he's talking about you give coffee when you sorry. No, I don't know. I'm not a coffee drinker either. So if somebody came bringing me a bunch of coffee. But why didn't he just automatically I, bring her tea though? That's the thing. <laughs> he said, I, yeah, because he said I could bring you tea if you want. He know damn well Olivia drink wine. Exactly. He should have brought it. her a glass of Merlot. Mm. Okay, I'm a tea drinker. I'm about to get mad at somebody for no reason so that they didn't bring me some wine. Because I'm a tea drinker and a, <laughs> a, a, a wine drinker. So if you mad, if I'm mad, yes, bring me that with some flowers. Lilies, I prefer. Thanks. Anyway, um, Huck told Liz, it's your fault. That's what he said. She was like, you went too far with Quinn. He said, Skirt! You he went said, too far with Quinn. You can miss me on that. You went too far. Yup. Skirt! Okay. You went too far. He said, and he you was, know, I'm a monster. He said, I'm a mother monster. Yeah. Ah! I'm a mother Ooh. monster. Yes. That's his Kanye. Kanye. Was Kanye. But, oh, uh, yeah, no, I love Kanye, man. But, <laughs> oh. Um, he was like, oh, and you was petting me and you tried to make me a lap dog. He said, I'm no I'm puppy. He said, I'm no puppy. I'm a loyal monster. And then, but then he was like, you, he should, said, you, you let that leash too long. Yeah, he, he said, you shouldn't have gave me someone to love. Bad. Oh. But what that tell y'all, he loved Quinn, y'all. And she broke his heart when she betrayed, um, um, Olivia. Olivia, and he was like, "You just gave me somebody to kill, and I've been wanting to do this, and look what you did." Huck, oh baby, Huck need to come back to Huck so she could be all right. But it looks like she's about to be down with uh, Command because you saw how she gave Jake. Yeah, and all she that was like, "That one was free." She was like, "Give me a job because she on unemployment." F you she's, pay me. <laughs> yeah, she's unemployed. She can't even collect unemployment. She's either got to be with Jolly or go back to Olivia. Because yeah. I mean, where's she gonna stay? Because she keep talking about she gonna take care of herself, but we all know, you know, the situation is real bleak for Quinn right now. But you saw how Olivia not only did she get told off by Huck, Quinn kind of told her off too, and then Jake told her off. That was well, really... actually, yeah, we forgot. And Fitz told off in the beginning. Yeah. And then Melly told off, too. Yeah. So she got, yeah, she was getting told Papa off a lot. Yeah, Papa Pope told, yeah, Olivia was getting checked. She was pretty much getting but checked the whole episode. Right? No. But when Jake told her off, it was kind of funny. And he was like, look, I am not your little errand boy. I got a job he to said, do. He said, don't tell me how to do my job, sweetheart. And he was like, and you don't know anything he about it. He said, what you can do is get some damn beer and chicken in this house. Yes. Because <laughs> he was like, wine and he popcorn like, is not food. I'm hungry. He said, if I got to be your beard, you're going to at least feed me. Wow. Wow. That's what he said. It, Abby, she it, said, what you doing? He said, I'm about to go take a shower before we have pretend sex. Bow. But you know what? That would have been like him saying that to me. I would have been like, excuse me. So what you trying, what you trying to, I would have felt like, are you going to try to violate me? I don't feel comfortable with you in my house and you need to go. She need to get violated so she, can, get, to go. So she can leave, <laughs> leave that married man alone. She needs to let Jake violate her all up and through her house so that she that can leave that. That would have put, that would have put me off a little bit. I'm a little afraid. 
I wouldn't have been, but I guess I'm Excuse into me? a different type of thing. Excuse me? <laughs> you had to change the locks on you. He did walk up in there like he owned the place. <laughs> He did walk up in there like he owned the place. But the fact that, like I said, though, the fact that uh, Command sees up into that over office, y'all. Yeah. What the F? Yeah. What the F? Can, can y'all just think about all the stuff Papa Pope saw, y'all. Think about all of the things Papa Pope has seen Miss Olivia Damn. Pope do up in there. His daughter, his yeah, baby. Hitting her Lewinsky. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all over her gown like Beyonce said yeah. mm, she is a mess y'all <laughs> but y'all saw how they was playing them backstabbers at the end of the song yeah. din, 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 din. what they do they smile in your face all the while they want to take your place the backstabbers backstabbers that's that joint right there y'all all the while I'm trying to take your place that joint is that's that joint yo I was I love the music that they play sometimes sometimes it is it's, it's really cool but speaking of backstabbers the number one backstabber of them all appeared in the end who mama Pope <laughs> she was like Mm -hmm. She was posed up chilling, y'all. She said, "Yeah, girl, we about to get up in our white house." That chick said, "That chick said hashtag Beyonce pose." Yeah, she was like, Has "That smile." Hashtag posing like Beyonce. <laughs> <laughs> and partition started playing. Yeah, it was like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that. Joint creeped me out. I was like, "Yo, drop this chick all is up crazy. partition, please." That's <laughs> yo. This Mama Pope was posed up like Beyonce, like. Hello. Okay. <laughs> That's what hey. it's hot, y'all. <laughs> Drive a roll up that partition, please. Partition. Don't know you. That joint is the sword. That joint is hot. But anyway, we gonna we probably gonna cover that some other time. Oh, maybe. Uh -oh. Okay. <laughs> anyway, but you saw how next week, uh, you know, Liv going around here kissing on Jake yeah. all over the place. Just cause he in her house and she made him some chicken. I'm sorry, y'all answer below. Let us know. Y'all don't think Olivia is that hoe out there? <laughs> She just so easily swayed. She just, she's just with the wind. She's going with the, she's going with the wind, fabulous. Yes. <laughs> Olivia she's is going, going with the, the wind, wind fabulous. fabulous, all over the place. She's just going. Oh, and live do better. It's crazy, and, and she got the audacity to be looking at Melly all crazy. But I'm happy for Melly. Round of applause for Melly for getting touched out here. Okay, touching you, touching you. Hey. That boy Andrew said he touching yeah, her now. You saw him play. He said, been thinking about you for 12 years. Yes. I think he said 12 years. Still can't get my mind. Yo. Nobody can still can't get my I mind off of my fingers down your throat about. and you vomiting yeah. your insides into the toilet. But he touched on that first lady photo. Who he touched yeah. on? Jackie O. Jackie O. He was like, mm, that man about to uh, show Melly what it's really about. He about to show Mel because you heard what he said to Melly when she was like, "Why did you do that?" And he was like, "Because I wanted to protect you. Your husband's not. Yeah. He want to be there for her." Melly with F Fitz, and see that's the thing. Fitz knows that Melly is all for you know like God and country, the come up. Yeah. just like <laughs> not even just the come up though. They're all very government, pro government. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know the truth of the matter. All of them have that in common. Fitz. Olivia, Melly, Cyrus. Cyrus, Papa Pope, it's all like Jake, even Jake. Yeah. About God and country. What you gonna do for the public, for the republic? So Melly gonna do what she gotta do. Okay? But if she was tired, really tired, Fitz would have a problem. Because all Melly gotta do is file for divorce. Wow. She ain't got to be taking that, that and trash. He does not, that's not even an option in his mind. He doesn't think that that would ever, exactly. ever, ever happen. She don't have to take his trash. All she got to do is file for divorce. And guess who would get act right like that? Fitz. She's actually doing him a favor. She's letting him have sex with his whore. Yeah. Because she could get him quickly right. I would have filed that paperwork. Now what, Fitz? Your move, bitch. Had her, had her, his secretary give it to him, like. Oh. Okay. No, I would have had Olivia give it to him. Mm. Cause she handles ish. Wow. I would have called her down to lunch again. Listen, ho, you my assistant too. Please take these papers to your homeboy. You can give it to. You can put it under your pillow. You mm. can hand it to him after or before. Choice is yours. Anyway, let's do the status report. Who, uh, I guess this was, what's this episode? It was, it was better than up. the first one. It was better up. than, it's turn up. And there's a reason it's turn up. This episode gets a turn up, definitely. 
And the reason why it's turned up for me is for the person who made the episode turn up worthy. Who was that? I, I want to say Melly, but it's not. It's Andrew Nichols. Kiss. He made it turn out worthy for me. I hope we're saying his name is right. If it's it ain't Nick, right, let I us know. I know it's Nichols. He made it turn out worthy for me when he when he started kissing on Melly and when he stood up for her and, and when he just let her know what it is. He looked her dead in her eyes and let her know what it is. A woman, see, at least me, I'm the type of woman. I like a man who tells me what a T.I. is. Don't have me sitting here waiting, wondering. Exactly. He told her what a T.I. is. Okay? Told her what it could be. I think... Uh, Who made it turn up worthy for you? I don't know, because I'm going between Melly and uh, Jake. When he just when he said chicken and beer, I was like, yeah. Well, he didn't say chicken and beer, but he was like, beer and some food. But we know he was talking about chicken. Because yeah, he looks Jake like he's someone... Thing. He looks like he's kind of like from Virginia, maybe, or something. What is she talking you know? about? <laughs> this child talking crazy, y'all. I see Jake as somebody from, like, Virginia. So... Well, I don't know. <laughs> I think he won the chicken. I mean, but who don't like chicken and beer no matter where you're from? Mm, that's true. Child, get some sweet water. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I want my beer from that. That's I want some bucket. sweet water. Mm. But see, me personally, I'm a Guinness drought type of a chick. If I'm a drink beer, sweet water will come next. No, Corona will come next. You're right. And that's where, I'm a sweet. That's where, I, I'm a sweet and that's water. Where, and that's where the Bronx come out. That's where Bronx yeah. and Harlem come out. Because first I like some Guinness drought, but then when that Bronx and Harlem come out of me, I want me a Corona yeah. with a nice little line on this. I'm sweet water, but truthfully, I'm just whichever beer. No, but is. I do like the sweet just, water. Oh, no, I had some blood orange beer. That joint was off the chain. Yeah. But I'm just really, I'm just want, I just want it to taste good, and I just want the highest alcohol content in it, actually. So shout out to, uh, <laughs> to Jake. And his uh, chicken and beer. Yeah. He gets, he's turn up worthy as well. So, okay. So, it was Andrew Nichols and Jake. And these are people who've never been, uh, never. we've never picked Jake for t for uh, no. the character to make the episode turn up worthy. So, shout out to Jake. Yeah. You know, because we don't really love Jake over here. No. Nah. But he was just like, would you, and you, it, I just feel sorry for him also because it's like he's in between a pimp and a hard space, the pimp being Fitz. Because <laughs> yeah, because pimp fit, fits, but Olivia's pimping him now too. Yeah, Melly yeah. and fit, him and Olivia, they, they, I mean, so maybe Olivia's the pimp and Fitz is the hard place. Fitz because is, he's because he's like, yo, Olivia, no, I'm not gonna help you. All right, what you want? Fitz, you ain't, know, no like, hard, Fitz ain't no hard place. He just like Drake. He's, he's soft the hard as place just because that's his boss. No, but he's soft as just like. And him. if he want him going, he can have. But him Fitz going. is just like Drake, soft as Cottonelle. Okay. What is you talking about? Mm. Fitz gets me sick with his crying And he ass. light skin. Let me stop. <laughs> Get out my face. Oh, <laughs> okay. <yes>. But anyway, <laughs> I guess that's it. Who no, made it turn down? Um, James. For you. Oh no! 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 We missed something. What? The dumb f of the day. David. David. You're so stupid. We forgot about He's David. He's so stupid. Because the thing was, he told him straight up that when they find out who Poopoo is, 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 he's Poopoo as good, is good as, good as, as dead. dead. Why and would then he, he was like, oh no, don't worry about it. I'm going to take your place and I'm going to be... Poopoo why would he her. take... Why would he take... This ain't got nothing Jake, to do James with you. place. Why would you go to there? If they catch James, they would not They would not be able to direct it back to David. This don't have nothing to do with you. He's crazy. And that shows he don't even care about Abby. Stupid ass. Exactly. Oh, Come please. On. David had me so upset. So upset. Okay? Because James was like, y'all ain't gonna do it. And then he called him and was like, nah, come on. You gotta do this. We gotta do this. Come on. Let's do it. Let's do Wait, it. Wait, you come said, on. you told me, yeah, James was like, I ain't gonna do it. Yeah, do he was it. like, do it, for, I, <laughs> do it for the house. I, I ain't gonna, gonna, gonna do, do it. it. Come on. I ain't gonna do it. Do it for the house. I ain't gonna do it. I ain't gonna do it. Then David was like, I, I'm gonna do it. He said he gonna do it. What the hell? I mean, I don't stupid. understand that was why he thing. why he did that. That was that was crazy. It was really dumb. So David gets the award for turned down worthy. Yes, he. I mean, it was it was yeah. And didn't know, but when Abby saved his punk ass, he talking about Abby. I love you. I didn't say it earlier today, but I love you. First of all, no, he, no. He said what two days ago. So I'm like the bottom line, because when she woke up and said I love you, he heard her. And he and he could have very down. easily said I love you. This cute girl. I don't know what's going on with these with these females on scandal. They just don't be turning up. Cause I would have snatched him right back in the bed. <laughs> no, we're going to finish this conversation right now. First of all, please. <laughs> and you're not cute. And this cute girl's telling you she exactly. loves you. You you ugly men out there, y'all better stop doing that. And it's I'm not so trying to cute redhead. It's like, I love you. 
Do y'all know that that actress Darby Stanchfield, Darby? That, with this Darby Stanfield or Stanchfield, she is forty two years old, y'all. Don't she look great? Forty two. I was shocked, but um, my mother says it's the red hair. Who knows? But she looks great. Yeah. But um, this dude David is crazy. And to you, y'all ugly dudes out there, y'all better when you got you a nice looking woman and she's exactly. actually loving you and looking you in your eyeballs and telling you that she love you. You better not treat that woman all types of ways. Cause she ain't gotta be with your ugly ass. <laughs> Shut up. Straight up. She ain't gotta be with your ugly ass. And even if you're not ugly, if your body is, if you a baffle, if you a baffle, body, body all fucked up, <laughs> and, and she still with you, she still looking you in your eyes, kissing you in your face, in on your mouth, mouth. In the mouth. And you gonna, you better not treat her all types of ways. She better be able to get away with a lot of mess. I'm sorry. Cause she ain't gotta be with your baffle ass, body all effed up. <laughs> yeah. ass. I can't take it. I Please. can't take it. Nah, because a lot of dudes out there like that. And the same goes for you women too, vice versa. If yeah. you know that you ain't hot shit. Because and they be the ugliest chicks with the cutest dudes and they just be doing them crazy wrong. Listen, don't, don't, listen. Y'all better stop playing. Somebody's still loving you and you know that you look a hot diggity dog mess because you can front all you want on Instagram and Facebook because your Instagram is a liar. Hey. We know that you don't think you hot. So if you ain't hot and you got somebody who's who look like something... And they actually looking you in your eyes every day. They not looking over your head. Okay. Your shoulder. You better appreciate that What's person. What's up, babe? <laughs> How come you on. doing? Come on. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> come on. Anyway. So I guess that's it. Next week. We, I mean, this episode was okay. It was better than the first one. Um, I think it was I think it was turned up just solely because of the fact that Mama Pope um, had an appearance. You know? you know what? I think Mama, I forgot about her. Yeah, yeah, she, she was she, like, yeah, I know. Yeah, we tripping. We getting it in. Yeah, because I said, like I said happen. Andrew Nichols, but I think I'm gonna have to switch that. Mama Pope made it turn up worthy for me. Cause it's like, why you back so quick? She ain't and got nothing better. Than Andrew you. Nichols is second runner up. Okay, because Mama Pope, I told y'all she struck that hashtag posing like Beyonce. Not even Beyonce. She was posing like Beyonce. Beyonce. Yeah, she was. She, Drive her all up that partition, please. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, Baba Pope. And she had that hair all to one yeah. side. Like yeah. well, hello. I don't got my I don't have my weave in, so I can't I can't <laughs> I'm about to like... be putting mine's joints back in though. <laughs> yeah, she was definitely you know, I see I can't even join in. I'm sorry. But she definitely was striking that beyond that young set. Alright. So anyway, I'm Jazz. And I'm Brett. And YCWAO. Justice.